Welcome to Daily Wisdom, where every single day we seek to take a piece of God's wisdom and then apply that to our everyday life. Our reading today brings us to one of the more famous parables of Jesus, which is known as the Good Samaritan. Essentially what happened was this expert in the law, the Jewish law, came to Jesus and asked him, well, what do I need to do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus responds, well, what's the greatest commandment? And of course, the greatest commandment, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself. And then the expert perhaps trying to get a little sarcastic and says, all right, Jesus, well, then who's my neighbor? And that's when Jesus goes into this story of the Good Samaritan. If you're not familiar with it, there's a man who's traveling between Jericho and Jerusalem, and on, on his journey, he is attacked. He's essentially mugged, and these robbers come in, strip him of everything he owns, or even take his clothes. They beat him severely and leave him for dead right there on the side of the road. And shortly after, a priest ends up coming by. And this priest, as he approaches and sees this man left for dead, he actually crosses the street and only passes by on the opposite side of the road, leaving this man for dead, just walks on by. And maybe it was because he didn't want to get unclean or down and dirty with the normal people, or, or it could have been other reasons, who knows, but this priest sees someone in need and ends up walking on by. Then a Levite comes along, and when the Levite sees him, does the same thing. And what's interesting is the Levites, uh, they were a part of that priestly class, but not quite priests. They were known as the the essentially the assistants to the priests. And you'd think, well, maybe since they're not as high and holy, they might have actually helped. And that's just not the case. The Levite walks on by as well. Until the Samaritan comes along, this man doesn't receive any help. But when the Samaritan shows up, he actually immediately tends to this man's wounds, throws him on his donkey, and then proceeds to take him to an inn and has him cared for there. Look at how the man, intera this Samaritan, interacts with the innkeeper at the inn. He says this in Luke chapter 10, verse 35. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Then Jesus again talks to the man who's the expert in the law, and he says, which of these do you think was the neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Obviously, we're told to, to know the scriptures and understand God's word. But this expert in the law who obviously knew a lot about God's word was missing out on what God cares about. And that is mercy and compassion for others. Certainly, we are to love God and express that love through growing in knowledge. But when knowledge is without compassion and mercy, essentially it's meaningless. And that's what Jesus gets to in this story because he holds up the hero in this story as a Samaritan. A Samaritan, a Samaritan was despised by the Jews. They were kind of outcasts. They intermarried with people who didn't believe like them. Some of their beliefs were actually different than what the Jews believed. Yet Jesus says this Samaritan man is the example. His compassion is something that God sees and cares about. And that's so good for us to reflect on as we continue in our week. Is there someone in your life who, who you should express more mercy and compassion to? Or are you wrapped up like the priest and the Levite? Are you too wrapped up in your own belief system to actually see that there's a need? We shouldn't allow our differences in beliefs or our differences in political views or our differences in uh, practice and our lifestyles to blind us to need of others. We should always hold compassion and mercy as a high priority in our lives. That's today's Daily Wisdom. I hope you found today's video encouraging. If so, hit that thumbs up button. That'll help others to see it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, consider doing so so you don't miss out on any of the short studies we have together Monday through Friday. We'll see you tomorrow.